Life. Hey, I'm Gazy, host of the Outlet Podcast. I invite you to check out the Outlet Podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and everywhere else listed in the description below. Here on the Outlet Podcast on YouTube, I love doing vlogs, and the vlog is entitled today, The Christian Life is a Very Mysterious Life. Um, and this will be in the Soli and Holy vlogs. Those are, uh, it's a set playlist where I like to actually talk about my faith as a Christian and where I educate and edify, educate my brothers and sisters of, who are fashioned by the hand of God. You know, they don't share in the faith that we have that Jesus Christ is the, the living son of God um, and that he is God himself. They don't share in Christian faith, but that's cool. And I like to edify, edify my brothers who do believe. Uh, as I believe. Today, we're talking about Christian life. The Christian life is a very mysterious life. You see, there are two ways. There are two ways I've um, realized people live their Christian life here on earth. And I don't judge on either way. I don't. The first way Christians live their life here on earth, uh, you know, they... Now, let me preface this by saying they are praying, they are fasting, they are searching for God. Let's just make a basso continuo, a continuous baseline of judgment, a platform uh, where we can jump off. Okay, so the Christian, the, the, the number one Christian, they will go to college and they will study what they love. They will graduate. God willing in the degree that they want and they will study in that profession that's fantastic they'll buy a house and they'll you know get married and live a happy happy life and whatnot um, that's very I'm overstating life <laughs> I'm very I'm, I am but with this Christian who's living that life this lifestyle now I'm not taking away from their faith I'm not but what needs to be, what should be questioned or brought to light is this. Are they living by faith? Now, I'm not saying that they don't have faith in God. I would not question the sacrifice that they've accepted into their life that Jesus Christ made on the cross of Calvary for us. But what I am wanting to enter into conversation is, is that person really living by faith? Are they doing, are they performing God's will for their lives? Now, once again, I'm not judging them for trying to establish a lifestyle here on earth. I mean, the Bible says that the married spouse has obligations that, that are terrestrial on this earth. A married spouse has to worry about his wife, for example. A married man needs to worry about his wife. He needs to pay the bills, he needs to go to work, get a, uh, that, that. That's what a married man has to do. You have obligations to your wife here on earth. If you're single, you have a little bit more freedom. Now, there are the other type of Christian. The Christian who lives everything by faith. They don't go to college without faith. You know, faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. They they do balance out faith and works, but everything that they do is by faith. God, what do you want me to study in college? God, what do you want me to, or who do you want me to marry? God, uh, what, what? There, there's a phrase that Christian singles love to throw around. I'm whole. I'm praying for the one. Oh, snap. I'm praying for the one, God. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, God, just sanctify me for the one that you have separated for me. And it's a lot. This type of individual, they live their lives by statements of faith, and they live by faith. The Bible says, "The just shall live by faith." That's great. That's great. But what, when it comes down to, if you want Burger King. Or McDonald's fries how much of that decision does God just leave up to you 
So this is my this is my question. When do you know? When do you know which to decide? Like when do you know what is a more spiritual based issue that needs a spiritual based answer? And when do you know what's a just a terrestrial on this earth issue? When do you know? See, this is why the Christian life is mysterious. This is why a lot of young adults, they go to Christian universities and they want to... St I knew this one guy, handsome dude. He, stu he um, fell in love with Christ. He really preached the gospel, proclaim proclaimed the good news. Great dude. I told him, what do you want to do with your life? I was like, oh man, I just want to preach the gospel. I just want to get the message of Jesus Christ's love on earth that we all may be believe in, that every knee shall bow down, every tongue shall... Have you heard these people talk? These people are the cutest. They're the cutest. I'm a 30-year-old dude. At the time, I, I think I was like 28. I'm like this. I'm like Gendo, Ikari. I'm just like this. Because I'm listening to this cat. He's talking. And he's spitting rhyme when he's talking like it's lyric it's lyrical how he's talking about god and and that's great however i said all right you want to be a pastor he's like yeah yeah man she want to shepherd the people of the lord and bring them into a, a brighter illumination of what the scriptures have to say and i was like yeah okay that's great how do you want to make money and then he told me he wanted to be a firefighter you see, the, the, it's we're living at a very interesting point in, in history. Christians are. We can own property. Our churches, we can own the property of the church. I mean, we're not doing it from one person's house to another person's house. We, we you know, Christians have great abilities now. And we can shine in our workplaces. So, this is why I want to talk. I, I wanted to bring up the... I, the issue of the Christian life being mysterious. And I can close by saying to you, I don't know what God has for you. I don't know what his plans are for you. But I can guarantee you this. The Bible says, I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. What does that mean? That means that Regardless of the plans that you have, God has plans for your life. He has plans for your life. Whether your plans coincide with his or not, he will bring you to make the decision of whether or not you want to follow his plans. The plans of God, they might have you be a Fortune 500 uh, company owner, but there to prosper you the idea that God is trying to tell us is that I will provide for you I have you I will bless you I will watch over you don't worry because I'm your God I have things under control trust me trust me that's all I need you to do is just trust me that's what I'm I wanted to make this video because I'm going through issues where I have to trust God because I'm entering back into school and um, there are just things that I have to, you know, trust God with because even though I, I don't like where I'm at personally in my life right now. So I'm trying to go back into school and become a better version of myself. But I'm in that situation where it's like, God, what is your will? I want to use my time with you as wise as wisely as I can. So, guys, listen, you're not alone in this, and I'm not alone in this, but just be confident. No matter what, age, if you're 15, thinking about what do you want to do when you graduate high school, or if you're 40-something, and you want to, like, go and graduate, uh, like, if you want to go back to school and you're 40-something, whatever your situation is, God loves you, and he's going to take care of you. Trust him, serve him, and he will he will bless you. 
he will take care of you. That's the God that I know. And that's the God I introduce you to you. And that's the God if, that you know. If you choose to believe that Jesus Christ is uh, the living son of God. Because, uh, you know, no one goes to the Father except through our Savior. So, my name is Gazy, host of the Outlet Podcast. What do you think? Comment below and I will respond back. Because I want to know what you think about issues. So, my name is Gazy. Find me in social media below. Let's connect and recharge.